All right, we're the green player and the map is non Madal. And these are the bonuses. And this blizzard makes this plus five bonus a two point hold. And this blizzard makes this plus three bonus a two point hold as well. And the same blizzard makes this plus three bonus over here a two point hold right here and here. And this blizzard makes this plus four into a four point hold. We're very strong for this plus five bonus in the bottom right. So I'm gonna put all my troops right here. I don't know if I can get a card. Get a quick card over here, because I'm like, took too long to explain things at the start. We can't get it right away because there's a four in our way, which is kind of healthy. So we get a quick card grab over there, stack here, fortify over, and the next turn, I can hit that, and then we can fortify back, and I have a one, two point hold on a plus five bonus with uh, one, two blizzards protect me from here and from here. And actually, once I push this red four out of here, it's all a one point hold right here for this plus five right here. Probably the strongest spot in the game. And this five over here, and these over here, this three, this three, this two. I just run them around getting card grabs. Ooh, the white player hits my three. Either they don't like me having this strong start and they're trying to weaken up my troops, or they just want this bonus. It is a uh, one, two point hold for a plus four bonus. That's also a pretty strong spot on the board, although not as good as mine. The purple player is stacking over here, and they're moving into non duas over here, which is a seven territory spot. That is a, um, that's a one, two point hold over there for plus five. That's also strong, actually stronger than this. So my spot's strong. Theirs are also good, not quite as good, but still good. I think this three is just gonna be toast eventually. I might be able to keep this three and this five alive. Four troops for the red player. Oh, and the magenta is a bot because a player did not ready up, which is bad because this bot might attack my two. But it's good because this seven and this six might cause problems for the white player. Ooh, the right player is stacking up there. Are you going to try and go for this plus seven? I mean, you don't want to go for this because the bot's got seven right there. They hit the purple three. Five for the magenta bot, and they stack them all next to my two. Please hit that three and not my two. Please go to the left because you want this bonus. They want that bonus. No, they're attacking the wrong way. That nine's going to hit my two, and it's going to stack inside my bonus, right? Uh, of course you are. Okay, so this is going to be a problem for us. Oh, you, yes, keep attacking. That's great. Oh, that's so good for us. We can run through, hit you, break the bot, and just stack right here. And we have to hope that red doesn't break us. Maybe we fortify some back. I don't know. All I know is we cannot let this bot have it here. Luckily, they attacked in a bunch. Do I have six left? Not a lot. I'll hit this. The bot cannot have that bonus. And we'll fortify this back over into Red's way. They should only get three troops next turn. If they want to stack three there and break this and fight me for this bonus, they can. That'll just ensure that neither of us wins this match. So hopefully they don't. Ooh, once I uh, secure this corner over here and move into here, we have a one point hold right here that's holding both this plus three and this plus five. The problem is I have to fight the magenta bot for it a little bit here. As long as I'm just fighting the magenta bot and Red stays out of it, we should be okay. I think the white player messed up. They stacked here thinking they could attack that three, but it doesn't actually touch. Or maybe there's worry about something coming in from the back. No, I think they messed up. They're trying to get a card somewhere. They're slow rolling, trying to get it. Unlucky. Yeah, they messed up putting there. They wanted to attack there. They're unfamiliar with the map. It's my first time playing it too. I mean, if purple controls this entire side of the board, they've got a one point hold here, here, here that does have uh, three bonuses in it. But that's a long time for them to get and uh, red's in their way. Ooh, they hit that 4v3 and they win and they only lose one. Fantastic dice for them. They should fortify this 5 down to here and start dealing with all this. Because they need to get that middle part to get that plus 5. They do exactly that. They're reading my mind. They must be at least halfway decent because they see what I see. And I feel like I'm halfway decent, right? Debatable. Moment of truth. It's Red's turn. They're taking a while to take their action, which tells me they're thinking about whether they want to go here and break me and fight me for this. It'd be a long, drawn out 1v1. They don't go for it. Oh, thank goodness. Red could have ruined my match right there, but instead they're fighting purple, which kind of makes sense because they've got six right here. They've got four more troops here to fight purple than they do to fight me. They're getting great dice just pushing purple out of there. Not sure why they're attacking that way. They should have just fortified back into here and had a bunch of troops over here. Only three for you. You stack them right there. You hit this, but you're not strong enough to hit this unless you get fantastic dice. I'm not sure if a bot will take a 4v3. They're trying to roll up there. Nope. The bot's attacking all the troops, and the bot fortifies over there because it wants to protect its borders. Eight troops for us is huge. I definitely want to break the bot. I don't want you being strong over there. I stack the rest over here. Do I win an 8v4? 99% of the time, 99% of the chance. We do fantastic. We break the bot, and thankfully, red was distracted with purple, and that has secured me the strongest position in the game. And then once we deal with uh, the bot and we get strong right here, we're then going to have to do a 1v1 with the white player, which we have an advantage because we've got a bonus over here. And then once we deal with them, we have a one point hold on this half of the board. 
while you two fight over here. So it's really a race of can I clear the bot out of here and then secure this to get the bot out of there too before somebody controls this half the board and has a ton of troops from holding these three bonuses right here, which is a plus 16. The white player finally managed to get over here. Purple's doing some work on red right now. They choose not to go for it. They attack down here, trying to fortify some more troops in. Fortify that four over there. Do it. No, that's not the one to fortify. They did fortify that. Oh, because they're trying to protect that from somebody coming in from the backside, I see. I think you're better, better off fortifying everything over there to hit red so they can't do this and attack you like that. Oh, and they got fantastic dice. This fight between red and purple is crazy. They only attack the one that's smart. Keep some troops stacked up. It's progressive. Card trade-ins are going to make a big difference in this match. The bot stacks all right there and attacks the three. Interesting, because the bot wants to get a card and the bot likes to attack smaller troop numbers. Eight troops for us is huge. We stack them all right here and we will attack over here. Claim our second bonus before anybody else has claimed their first. White should have had theirs already by now, but they screwed up. Um, but yeah, this blizzard, this blizzard here that's behind the card, and this one here, huge blizzards for us. Insane. And the card trade on three from the white player. Are they going to try and hit the magenta bot here and then try and get good dice on me? 13 versus 13. Oh, and they do not get good dice. Honestly, I think they needed to make that play. They needed to make that play and get good dice. Statistically, the odds were in my favor, but even if they did that, they, they need to hit that and have enough love over to hit here and hit here. And then I just card trade and take it right back. But yeah, I think they understand that I have two bonuses down here. And I'm going to go rolling right through them. They had no choice but to do that. Or they could have just given up on holding a bonus and sit in the corner somewhere. Ooh, purple trades on three because they're also desperate to settle their fight with red before I come rolling through the board. And the purple player comes rolling through the red territory, desperately trying to get their bonus. And are they going to try a 6v7? Hope for insane dice. Is it even possible? I don't know. No, they don't. Again, that, that five could have really helped you last round. Get, get over there. No, not there. You want it in the same stack. I guess it stops them from rolling through territories. But the red player trades in on three as well. Also, thank you to Red for not fighting me down here. This could have easily been me and uh, Red fighting down here, getting nowhere, while Purple got this for free and White got this for free. Luckily for me, Red chose to go over there. Oh, and the dice and the dice they are getting. Keep in mind right now, they have uh, one more troop than I do. Fantastic dice. They just keep attacking and losing none. All, the, all that attacking didn't lose a single troop. They still have uh, one more troop than I do right now. And they have their bonus. If the bot and the white players slow me down enough, maybe Red can have a chance of winning this. That's a big if. I'm pretty strong down here. I bet the bot's going to break the white player for me. Not that I need to. I'm going to break them anyways. No, they pushed the red out of there because the bot wants to hold this bonus, but the green five's in the way. Wait, that's my green five. That's my green five in the way. I'm not going to card trade on a four here. I don't really feel like I need to. I'm going to attack there and just kind of hang out. Can I push out the red bot here for cards? No, because I didn't stack any over there. The bot's probably going to trade in and attack there. I don't want them to do that. So I'm just going to move this out of its way one tile. And you know what? Just move it down here, because why not? All the way? Great dice? Nah. Could have, though. Three troops for the white player. What can they do? Try and hide somewhere. I think they bought it out. Am I right? Did you bot out? You did. Makes sense. Your match is over. You had one chance to have anything going on right there and it didn't happen. So the purple player instead is going to get a card over here and try and stay in it, I think. Yeah, they get a quick, easy card and try and come back because it's progressive. Eight troops for the red player. My main competition. They protect up their borders. Probably attack to get one card and call it good, I imagine. No, they attack twice. Honestly, the faster they grab this next bonus, the better for them. They need to grab this uh, plus four down here. All they need to do is take out this, take out this. It'll be a three point defense for them. They should try to grab it that turn. Although I could just stack there and break them if they did. Does the bot have a trade on four? They do, unlucky. I wish they didn't, and the bot stacks there like I expected they would, also there, because they want to uh, complete their bonus over here. Do I break the bot? Obviously, I break the bot. Do I eliminate the bot for uh, two cards in their turn, or do I leave them be? I mean, they're in the way of the side of the board that I want to hold. Ooh, the bot, though, yeah. Run over to their side of the board. That's great. No, don't fortify that back my way. 12 troops for us. I mean, we've got a lot of troops here in a card tree. Let's try to get the bot out of our way. I need it gone, so that way I can uh, just have things handled over here. So I stack everything right here. I'm going to get this six out of here. Ah, oh, I might feed the white kill to somebody else. I'm not super worried about it. What I'm worried about is getting that beautiful one-point hold uh, at the top there. I need you out of your bot. How many troops do I have? I have 25. I don't think the right player is in any position to break this. I need you gone, and we'll have a nice one-point hold over here. And get, uh, I think, this as well. Right, there we go. Beautiful. 
gives us two extra cards. It's not uh, nothing, right? I can hit this red five, just get like the offensive advantage and like to combine my stacks over into here. And now red can never hold this uh, plus seven over here without going through me. I will need to take out the white players soon before they get a card trade or the bot rather, because you're a bot now. But this is the power of the God Spawn slash the God Hold. One point hold here, one point hold here, one point here blocking you, one point hold here controlling half the board. The bot just attacks once, calls it good. Are you a bot too? You're still a player. Purple's still a player. I imagine Purple's gonna be the most mad at red unless the kind of player to let bygones be bygones and then want to like team up on me. I think next turn I want to try and eliminate purple and white. If I'm lucky I can get a uh, eliminate all of them in one turn actually. Eight troops for you, that's a lot. Your best move would take that 14 hit here, hit here, hopefully get great dice on this and try to break some of my bonuses. No, you eliminate the white uh, player there, the bot. That's actually pretty smart. I knew it was gonna feed that kill. Does not give you an immediate trade in though. And you end your turn. You'll have a card trade next turn, a nice big one. That's fine. I'll do my trade in first and try and take you out this turn. We stack everything right here. We are about to go around and do a lot of damage to you and the purple player as well. I will try and eliminate purple here. If I'm lucky, I can get you both in the same turn. That is going to be my goal. I will hit here and do a split of just leaving that right there. We'll hit you over here. We'll get uh, a purple out of here. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you for your three cards. We'll give me another card trade. Thank you so very much. That is another 22 troops for us. And I'll stack them all right here. And we are going to run through the board. I think I have enough to beat you entirely, right? Yeah, you've got what, 18 troops on the board. That's fine. We'll go ahead and so, like just zoom through this a nice quick satisfying win appreciate you not fight me early red it was your undoing and there it is you'll love to see it but i have plenty more videos you can watch too see you next time